And still in West Africa, in Nigeria, President Goodluck Jonathan today takes part in the final presidential debate ahead of nationwide elections. But he will not be facing his biggest rivals who are boycotting the event because Mr. Jonathan refused to take part in an earlier debate. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has that story. President Jonathan will not be facing his biggest rivals Wednesday because he declined an invitation to a debate earlier this month that included his main challenger, former military ruler Mohamedou Buhari, along with former anti-corruption chief Nuhu Rabadu and the all-Nigeria People's Party candidate Ibrahim Shekarau. At that debate, they criticized the president for not showing up to defend a ruling party that's won every presidential contest since Nigeria's return to civilian rule in 1999. Presidential, legislative and gubernatorial candidates are wrapping up their campaigns ahead of three weeks of nationwide elections in Africa's most populous country. Issues of security and the economy have dominated the campaign. Human Rights Watch says the candidates are not paying enough attention to issues of communal violence and corruption. Election observers say they'll be watching for signs of violence between Muslims and Christians in northern Nigeria, especially as Mr. Jonathan is from the predominantly Christian south and his three main challengers are from the mainly Muslim north. Former Botswana President Festus Mohai heads the Commonwealth Observer team. I am hopeful that the level of violence will be contained such that overall elections will remain credible. We should not be too excited and take isolated incidents of violence uh, as, as affecting the whole or the outcome of all the election. Mr. Mohai says election observers and Nigerians will be looking for a cleaner vote than the 2007 contest, which was marred by ballot stuffing and fraud. We will consider, among other things, whether or not Conditions exist for a free and competitive elections. The Electoral Commission is independent and effective. The voter register provides for universal suffrage. State institutions and public media are impartial. There is a level playing field in the campaign and that the campaign is free of violence. Voters are free to express their will, and the results process is transparent. President Jonathan's promising free, fair, and credible elections that he says will restore Nigeria to its rightful place in the international community. There have been several bomb attacks at campaign events over the last month. Security forces are deploying across the country ahead of Saturday's first round of voting to prevent further violence. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.